So it's a very simple concept. Uh, we turned the building to the south, put most of our windows on the south side. The building is super insulated. So we achieved you know, a unique wall system, very airtight construction in a short amount of time. Through collaborating with different professionals, we relied heavily on the architectural firm, my own knowledge, the trades, uh, and especially the Passive Health consultants, both the designer and the certifier. The exterior walls are a double 2x4 framed wall with dense packed cellulose inside. We did air controlling barriers on both the exterior and the interior for redundancy. And then uh, it's a wood truss roof and that's uh, again a dense pack cellulose uh, for insulation. So you know we're upwards of anywhere from between R60 to R80 in uh, the different uh, wall assemblies. It was the most airtight building that's been measured in the Okanagan. We were very careful in taping up the assembly and making sure that there was no air leakage against the windows or in any locations. And you can see here the windows are placed in the middle. The most efficient place to put the window is in the middle of the wall assembly. The windows themselves are a triple glaze window and we specifically change the solar heat gain coefficients and U values depending on the orientation. There is a, a what's called a lantern which is a natural passive ventilation so it's facing north and all the windows are on electronic openers. So what the, the people operating the building do in the summer months when it's, when it's really hot at night they'll open up all the lower windows around the perimeter and they'll open up these and we'll get natural passive ventilation which will cool the building overnight. And we certainly like to optimize that feature where we can open the windows, bring in the fresh air, uh, especially in the spring and the fall when the temperatures can be so different from morning to afternoon. The tighter you built your house, the more high performance that house is, the more dependent that home becomes on a mechanical system. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, a simple little box that's being built on a budget or a very high performance home. Either way, it benefits from an integrated design process. Well, for one, you're not going to get uh, significant temperature fluctuations. It's just going to have a stable, level, uh, comfortable temperature. The acoustics are phenomenal. For the owners, the utility bills will be low. It essentially it establishes a very low threshold for how much energy a building can use. It's about a quarter of what a typical building would use. You know, in order to do a building like this, you need to have a committed client. And in this case, Okanagan College uh, is very committed to showcasing sustainability. We want to build green buildings because we have a number of students coming through here in a number of different trades programs, business programs, and we need them to be exposed to the latest and greatest engineering and uh, construction technologies because they're going to be out there in the workforce and we want to prepare them for that. The building performs phenomenally well. I mean, it's, it's a very comfortable home and uses a little amount of en energy. One of the most important things to learn in the in elite field trials is don't underestimate the time it takes to properly and thoroughly plan your strategy. You know, what technology is going to use, whether it's certain mechanical systems, wall systems, research them thoroughly, understand the risk, the pros, the cons, and really truly understanding that you have the resource network to execute it. 